Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at reggae drummer and the new feature updates that uh, Louis Martinez, the developer, has implemented into a reggae drummer, but he has also done the same thing for rock drum machine, future drummer, soft drummer, funk drummer, uh, mid-east drummer. So uh, there are several things we want to cover here, okay? So the first thing I want to look at is four boards mode. This allows you to control the the uh, live pad section here with a pedal controller or, or a MIDI controller. Now, I don't have a pedal controller, so I'm using MIDI controller. So to set it up, it's easy peasy. We go to our MIDI settings here. Now, I know that the launch, uh, the Novation launch key pads here uh, send on MIDI channel 10. And also... Um, the keyboard is on channel, uh, get, well, it's set up any MIDI channel you like. This is Galileo organ on the keys, and these will control our four boards. Now, note that I have it on notes and not the program change. And to set it up, I also know that this pad here is C2, okay? Um, and you can see that I have it starting at C2. So all I need to do is press learn, hit this, that will go off, and it, that's it, that's done. It's set up. Now we can look at four boards here, uh, but this doesn't do anything in itself. This is just showing you, this is just the instructions how it works. So hitting this will just uh, take the pad backwards to the next one, and this one will advance it forwards. This will cause a fill-in, and this will cause it to stop. If you tap this twice, it will cause the hi-hats, the, the ride symbols to come in and stuff like that. So that is set up, and that is all you need to do. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. You just need to know your MIDI channels and, uh, you know, what your controller receives MIDI on, sort of, or sends MIDI on. Anyway, <clears throat> so theoretically now, uh, if we go to either one of these, we can advance backwards like this, or we can advance forwards like this. So let's, let's start on this one. And hitting this will, will start cause it to play. Okay. And then hitting this one will cause a fill in. And then... Hit it twice. Now you can imagine this is much easier if you're doing this with your, your feet sort of thing. But if you're using a pad controller like this, let's do another fill in. And let's do it twice to take the high right off. And let's advance forwards. Advance two times. time let's advance to the end two three do a fill and then we can end it okay so that's brilliant so that's how that works okay so if you've got a pedal controller it's very cool you just set it up to the way i just set this up but for this and then you can if you're a keyboard player you can play along you know so you could and stop it. Awesome top job. Now another uh, new feature is double time or half time grooves, basically. So. Let's speed this up so we get a better effect, actually. Let's put this on 120 and let's start it off. Okay, so it, this works nice with rock drums and stuff like that, but I just want to demo it with this. So these three little buttons here, you'll see. You'll tap it and you will see this. And then you can go half. And it will, like, take it half speed. You can go back to normal, or you can keep doubling it or keep half in it sort of thing. Okay, so that's your half time speed thing. 
Okay, that's I mean that's pretty pretty straightforward. It'll basically just slow your beat down. So I mean half the once when it'll slow down to sixty BPM sort of thing. So it's still all going to be in time. It's all going to be in sync, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Very nice if you're jamming along and you're on something there and you want to hit this and go to half speed. You get the idea of the right. Okay, so now also here's the thing. Let's leave this on 120 and let's save those pads. That we could do it. We could do a new one. We could just put new or and it'll load or we, we can load one we've already got. But let's put save. Now, remember this 120. Let's put save. Okay, and I'm going to call this um, 120 test pads. Okay, I'll put a space there. 120 test pads, save. When we go to load, you'll see it says test 1, 85, test 2, 85, test 3, 100, session jam, 110, 120 test pads. And you'll notice underneath there's a little 85, 85. This is the BPM. Now you'll see here it says change BPM. What Louis also added now is the ability to recall the BPM settings for each of your live pad sessions, okay, which is very, very useful. But he's also give you the option not to have to bother to do that. So if you wanted test one, which is 85 BPM to load in at 120, just do not engage change BPM. So if we load that now, this is at 120. Brilliant. However, if we put load and go change BPM, it will change to the BPM that you have selected. Same set of pads, same set of live pads, same session, same stuff, but at the BPM that it was originally recorded at. And that will go for any of the, you know, any of the live pads. It remembers the BPM. So well, if you, so you might have some sessions set up at really fast or slow. And this is the same for Rock Drum Machine, Future Drummer, Soft Drummer, Funk Drummer, etc. Now, the other brilliant thing that is now added as well is uh, iCloud backup. So you hit this little cloud here, okay, and you'll see that I've got different tests going on that I made yesterday. So we could save this backup, save this backup as, say, uh, to a fourth test, say, fourth, um, fourth test, not teat test. <laughs> Okay, and we can enter that, and that's done. Now, if I go to my clouds, now you'll see that this... What? Oh, I didn't say... Look, 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 look. I'll do it again. Fourth test. And I can drop that down and go save backup. And it'll put it into its backup. So if we theoretically now go to load... Oh, not load, sorry. If we go to cloud, our fourth test will be there. Now, this is great, right, because pressing this and at the moment won't do anything, obviously, because it's 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 on my iPad. But if I'd set up, like, for instance, if I go into song mode here, you'll see that I just put a few things in to show that I'd done a song. But if I go to this now, uh, what is it, reggae drummer. So let's go to reggae drummer, reggae drummer. And I'm going to delete reggae drummer from my iPad. Delete. So it's gone completely, and I shall go to the App Store now, and we shall go search for Reggae Drummer. Reggae Drummer. I'm going to put a gap in there, because the App Store doesn't recognize things like that. I'll just make sure I'm getting this right. Reggae Drummer. Okay, there we go. There it is. And I need to now download it again, so I shall... It shouldn't take too long. Here we go. But this is very cool. iCloud backup for these is 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 great because you know you're not going to lose any of your sessions that you've got set up or patterns that you've got saved or anything like that. You know, so we can open it here and have a look. Now, what we can do, we can see. Let's go to live pads here. Let's go load. There's nothing there. Nothing. Nothing there. It's gone. It's all gone. It's all gone because I deleted the app and reinstalled it as you would normally do sort of thing and if we go to um my song mode here you'll see that there is no songs though 
But if we tap our little cloud icon, you'll see that all our sessions are saved in the cloud. So all we need to do is go this and then restore backup and yes, load. And fourth test is loaded. Now, if I go to load now, all my patterns are there, my jam sessions from earlier. Well, I'd need to probably set up my, what's it again, but me midi me much it. But if I go also now to song mode, i stop that now. If I go to song mode, you'll see that it's all there. Everything is back to the way it was, which I think is a marvelous thing. So there you go, guys. There is a look at your new uh, four pads. There you go. You see, then I've got it on notes. I want it on thingy and I'll go C2. I just want to quickly show you. C2 and I want to hit for boards mode and I'll hit learn C, no, C2. I'm going to have to do this as well also. You need to make sure that your bits and pieces are getting read. Learn at C2. Learn. Done. And now it'll start. And it'll stop as normal. So there you go. So some great Great new additions that apply to all of Louis' apps, okay? Not just Reggae Drummer, they apply to Rock Drum Machine, Future Drummer, Soft Drummer, Funk Drummer, um, and I think Middle East Drummer too, and it could be, it could be others. Um, but there you go, it's awesome. So now you should be able to navigate your way around all this kind of stuff dead easy. Don't forget if you can't find the half time, it's in that little button there. So you just need to tap that and then you can go double, double speed beat or double up or slow down half the time. It's awesome, that is. So on rock drums, you really, if you're going really fast, it's like you want to go half speed and go boom, 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 great stuff. Radio guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll put a link in for Reggae Drummer, but really it's just to show you all the new features added uh, by Louis. Great stuff. Great stuff indeed. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron from as little as a dollar a month, you know. Uh, help support what we do here at the Sound Test Room. And I will see you guys later. Ta-ra!